So after 30 minutes, this is how the dough looks. So I'm, with wet hands, I'm just going to pull up a little bit of the dough and have a look at the, the gluten. Now if I can stretch it out like that without the dough breaking, that tells me that the gluten has formed really well. What I'm going to do is a, a stretch and fold. So this helps to strengthen the dough and align the gluten during the fermentation process. So we basically stretch, grab a piece of the dough, stretch it up and fold it back into the bowl. Turn the bowl, go underneath, stretch up the dough and fold it back in. Turn again and each time you turn and stretch it becomes a little bit harder to stretch the dough up and just going to work my way around the bowl now just grabbing the corner so to speak and basically stretching. So I'm going to now move the dough from my lovely big dough bowl uh, into this smaller dish. This will help me to monitor the development of the dough uh, and also do the coil folds, which we'll be doing in a while. I'm going to leave it for 30 minutes. I'm not going to leave it uh, for as long as I would uh, if I were working with wheat because I want to build strength into the gluten structure. So I'm now just going to cover it like that and just leave it on the bench.